Hi, today is Wednesday, March 29, 2017. It's the third day of the fifth week of Lent, and this is a sweet fix. And uh, right now, I'm going to talk about Greece or the Greek Turkish situation. Uh, because uh, recently, the Ministry of National Defense in Greece, um, Panos Komenos, who by the way belongs to the party Independent Greeks, who supposedly supposedly are a right-wing populist party. In that case, if that's true, that they, they should be a party that I like. But yeah, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, he participated recently in the 196th anniversary of Greece's war of liberation against Ottoman Turkish rule. Yeah, you know that the Greeks were oppressed by a Turk or by by the Ottoman Empire for for a long time, right? And in this anniversary, Mr. Komenos said, "The Greek armed forces are ready to answer any provocation. We are ready because that this that is that is how we defend peace." And I think that's a great statement by by the Minister of National Defense of Greece, Mr. Komenos. And the interesting thing about Greece is that, uh, I mean, their prime minister is really left-wing, at least in theory. I'm not sure about his in practice, but in theory, Alexis Tsipras, who belongs to Syriz, Syriza, which is uh, some kind of coalition of different left-wing groups, I think. But they have formed a broader coalition government in Greece, probably because of the big crisis there. You know, the, the Greeks just spent and spent and spent and didn't pay the bills, so that's what happens. But I digress. That doesn't matter right now. The interesting thing is, I suppose that uh, a minister in the government, Panos Komenos, I suppose that he has spoken to his prime minister about what he is going to say. I suppose that what he said did not come as, an, uh, as a surprise to, to the prime minister, Alexis Tsipras. So I suppose that he got his prime minister's support in this. And that's interesting for at least two reasons. Uh, one reason is that it looks like the Greeks are here drawing a line in the sand. That they are here saying, you can go no further. We will not tolerate that. And if that is the case, I think it's wonderful. I am all for that and I stand with the Greeks in that. Uh, I mean, we also have the, the situation in Cyprus with the well, with the Greek, Greek with the, with the with the Republic of Cyprus, and then you have the Turkish state there, the Turk Cypriotic state, which isn't recognized by, well, it's not recognized by Greece at least, and but it's recognized by Turkey and some other Muslim nations mostly. So you, you I think you got that too, that element too, that uh, it wasn't the state of Turkey, but a Turkish. Uh, well, the Turkish government managed to take over part of the island. And if it is the case that, Greek is not, uh, that Greece is now drawing a line in the sand, they should be supported. They should be supported by any sane country. Sane European or Western or whatever country should support them. But anyone who has an interest of that line not being crossed, Anyone who has an interest of uh, the Turkey cannot cannot use, well, for instance, the refugee agreement with the EU as a weapon to blackmail Europe, to extort Europe, because that's what they have been doing. So I think that, yes, Greece should respond to any provocation. I mean, we're probably just at the, word, at the war of words right now. We'll see if it gets any more heated. I am not in favor of wars. Just, just having said this, I am not in favor of wars. But I am even less in favor of bending over backwards and let people walk all over you. If you have to defend yourself, and you have to, if people start walking all over you, you have to stand up and stop them. And uh, Greece should get help from Bulgaria, of course. They should also get help from France and the United Kingdom and Norway and Austria, and Spain, and so on. I mean, I think that Turkey and, or not Turkey, of course not Turkey, but I think that Germany and Sweden should help out too, but, but hey, there, there, isn't, there isn't seven Sundays in a week. 
in my in my calendar so yeah that's that that's i don't think it's very likely that they, they will but they should and i think that greece probably has a lot of a lot of a lot of old stuff going on with turkey that you really need to set straight i mean there are people living in greece today who are descendants of people who fled for their lives from turkey when the turkish state was established the ottoman empire fell the ottoman empire wasn't a nice place if you weren't muslim but you survived it wasn't nice but you survived then it was succeeded by the turkish republic and they started killing off Armenians, they started killing off Ponti Greeks, and people were running for their lives. You have the Armenian Genocide, that one which Turkey will not recognize at the same time as they are calling, for instance, Germany and the Netherlands Nazis. Interesting story there. And you have the Ponti Greeks, the, 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 Greek, the Greek population living in what turned into Turkey. And for all the angry Turks out there, you do know that uh, before the Ottoman Empire, it was the Byzantine Empire, which was a Christian Empire, and which was the well, what what the Eastern Roman Empire turned into. It was sort of what was left of the Christianized Roman Empire, and uh, you know that that they had this cathedral, the Hagia Sophia, which they turned into a mosque which is despicable it's terrible i mean really if you ask me if you corner me on this i'm gonna say make make istanbul constantinople again but anyway i digress the thing is there's a lot of history here intermixed with what's going on today and uh, a lot of greeks would probably say that it's payback time and i don't want war but i want greece to defend the border i want the rest of Europe to help them and hey if uh, the United States or Canada or well, yeah Canada fat chaps that's like Sweden and Germany that would be nice but fat chaps but anyway if someone else a sane country if the United States would like to send some soldiers to guard that border be my guest I think that would be a great idea and uh, another another history lesson for you have you heard of the Anisaris? You know who they were? Christian boys were robbed from the Balkans, taken to the Ottoman Empire. Well, they, they, that was the Ottoman Empire too, but taken to like taken to to what is now Turkey. They ended up. They were con converted to Islam. They they ended up in the army, and many times they were sent to fight their own former countrymen. I don't think the Greeks have forgotten. I don't think the Serbs have forgotten. And you know that the Ottoman Empire, they, they, were, they, were, they almost conquered Vienna. And uh, that was stopped by the Polish winged hussars, sent by the Polish king John Sobieski. So in Eastern Europe, people still remember this. That's why they are skeptical of Islam. They, rem they, they remember the history, sort of forgotten in Western Europe. There's a lot that could be said about this, but the important the important point here and now is that we need to defend ourselves from from the Turkish threat, and the Turkish threat is the Islamization that is done or that Turkey now tries to promote, or how they try to blackmail Europe by by sending migrants, so-called refugees. Some of them are probably refugees, and some of them are probably not. I'm not going to go into the specifics there. But anyway, Turkey needs to be put in her place. And if Greece can contribute to this, kudos to Greece, kudos to the Greek government. And I stand by Greece on this. And that's what I have to say about this right now. I would like to thank the people who are supporting this channel through prayers through PayPal, through Patreon. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. I also propose that you click the little bell because I think that helps to get notifications. And uh, share my videos on social media, on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. And uh, 
If you like my video, then please like it. If you got something to say, please comment. And I would also like to encourage you to support this channel. That can, as I said, be done through PayPal, it can be done through Patreon. I will include all the necessary information in the information box below. This is a sweet speaks. Have a nice day.